Historians now have a full picture of how Newcastle looked during colonisation with the missing piece of a surveying map discovered in the UK. A copy of the plan was presented to the Governor of New South Wales, Marie Bashir. Completed by French surveyor Francis Borallia in 1801, the plan is the earliest blueprint of Newcastle and provides details of the region's landscape at the time of colonisation. It had been missing for more than a century before it was tracked down by the Coal River Working Party. In a way, it's like our Rosetta Stone. You know, we understand the landscape. It was the map that they used in order to exploit the region of its resources. Today, Her Excellency Marie Bashir accepted one of five copies of the Boralia Plan, which will be hung in Government House. That's the correct place for it because it, it was really the beginning of um, an understanding of the great prosperity, the great goodness that this region would bring to the nation. While in Newcastle, Her Excellency took the opportunity to inspect the restoration work at Fort Scratchley and became the first Vice Regal to fire one of its guns. The work is on schedule for completion in March and should be open to the public from the June long weekend. People who visited before we moved out and before the vandals moved in saw a, a great old fort but it was old and it looked tired and worn. Uh, today they're going to see it rejuvenated and as it looked when it was built in 1882. Lauren Bladwell, NBN News. Next, a man.